Parvo vaccination is really important. Uh, as you saw with the parvo puppy, they can get really sick. So young puppies um, should be vaccinated starting at eight weeks of age. We usually give puppies three or four vaccines to make sure they're safe. Uh, the most important vaccines puppies get is over 16 weeks of age. So if a puppy was given a vaccine at 12, at 16, then it would be completely safe. But we usually start them earlier at, at eight weeks just to make sure they're, they're safe if they get around a sick puppy. Puppies can get around adult dogs that have, that have been vaccinated for parvo. Adult dogs don't carry parvo, usually. Um, it's great for socializations. Puppies have to learn from adult dogs how to act around them because sometimes they jump on them and adult dogs might snap at them. And so you've got to give them great, um, great training. So in order to vaccinate a puppy, um, we usually uh, will grab the skin and we will put the vaccine in this area. Uh, sometimes if you put the vaccines down in these areas, they're much more, they're much more uh, painful. Vaccines come in uh, vials like this. Here's a liquid and here's a powder. When you, you take the liquid out of the vial and you inject it into the powder, and then you get this mixture, which has got the virus in it, uh, immersed in liquid, so that when you put it under the skin of the puppy, it goes into the system. It's an inactivated or killed par parvovirus, so the puppy's immune system uh, gets used to it and can prevent parvo infection. So we usually grab a little piece of skin, take, of course, take the needle off, grab a little piece of skin, and inject it under the skin into the space, subcutaneous space. And usually puppies don't feel that too, too much. Um, then what, what I always try to do when I have a little puppy that comes in for an exam, I always check them over, their eyelids and their eyes, make sure they're okay. Ears, make sure there's no ear mite infection. Make sure the nose is nice and wet and the holes are normal. Make sure that the gums are nice and pink, that the teeth match, the arcades match and the teeth meet together nicely, that the tongue and the tonsils and everything are normal, the lymph nodes are normal, and the shoulder joints and the elbow joints work, and the wrist joints work, that the puppy's got normal toenails and normal pads. And I do that with each leg. And the back legs, we see if the, he the hips are well seated. So I'm doing a wheelbarrow right now, and the puppy's actually doing pretty good. <laughs> so the he hips are well seated, the knees feel good, and the stifles feel good, the hocks feel good, and there's the toenails and pads on the back feet are also good. The tail looks normal. You have to look in and you have to see if the anus is normal and that's normal. Um, the puppy feels good. His abdomen feels okay, his stomach. I can feel his colon in. He's got some poop in his colon, which is good. And then I listen to the heart, make sure it sounds normal. A heart's got a normal beat or rhythm, and it's just like... We want to make sure that it sounds like that, and it doesn't sound like... So, we're basically listening for the rate and rhythm. And this puppy's got a good beat. Pretty fast heart rate. Puppies have a faster heart rate than... The adults do. So, and then I, uh, so that's about it. We, we generally check the puppies over and make sure that all the internal organs are good, that the muscles and joints are good, that the ears are good, and the eyes looks for any kind of a gen genetic or congenital malformations, which means every, we're all a bunch of car parts, right? I mean, we our, our skin, our eyes, our brain, our joints, and sometimes uh, the genetics uh, can come into play and things aren't made right so we I just want to make sure that the puppy is doing okay. Berm, we always warm every puppy for round arm and tapeworm and we use pills these have to be drawn tail and they're good against most most all the round worms and the tapeworms 
So when you give a puppy a pill, you can do it an easy way, which is just to get them in your hands and drop them down the back of their throat and then push with your finger. And usually the puppy, <laughs> they have to gag them down like that. But they're usually pretty good about it. Vaccinating a puppy for parvo is very important. A, doc, a puppy should get at least two shots spaced three to four weeks apart to be adequately protected. And the last shot should come after 16 weeks then a puppy is protected. We always start the shots very early at eight weeks in order to um, make sure a puppy has that protection going forward. But they don't always need three or four shots depending on when they get their first shot. If the first shot comes at 12 weeks, they might only need two. But if they get one at eight weeks, they might need up to four. So that's why the vaccination protocols change so much from vet to vet, and breeder to breeder. Breeders like to vaccinate the puppies very early, so that the puppies in six weeks, so they, they're making sure that parvo doesn't occur in there and all their dogs.